In the blessed lands of Palestine, a prophet was born, gifted with wisdom and knowledge beyond measure. This is the story of Hazrat Suleiman, the son of Hazrat Dawood, a great messenger of Allah. Dawood said, My son, Allah has chosen you for great things. Always remember to seek guidance from him. One day, while out for a walk, Hazrat Suleiman came across a group of ants busily working together to build their home. He watched in amazement as they communicated with each other, working together with incredible organization and teamwork. Suddenly, one of the ants approached him and spoke in a tiny voice. O oh, King Suleiman, we have been expecting you, we have a problem in our colony, and need your wisdom to solve it. Hazrat Suleiman was astonished but he listened intently as the ant explained their issue. He then offered a solution, using his wisdom and knowledge to help the ants resolve their problem. As he continued on his walk he encountered a group of birds singing sweet melodies. He listened carefully and soon found himself understanding their songs, learning about their migrations and habitats. Next he came across a group of animals grazing in a field. He spoke to them in their own language, learning about their social structures and habitats. Word of Hazrat Suleiman's incredible abilities spread quickly, and soon people were coming from far and wide to seek his wisdom and guidance. He used his gifts to help those in need resolving disputes and offering counsel to his people. My people, I have been given the power of speech and the ability to understand the language of all creatures. Let us use this gift to build a just and righteous society. Hazrat Suleiman was a just and fair ruler, but he was also a fierce warrior, defending his people against all threats. He was renowned for his wisdom, justice, and prophethood. In the ancient land of Sheba, Queen Bilkis ruled with wisdom and grace. She was known for her intelligence, beauty, and wealth. One day a group of travelers arrived in Sheba speaking of a mighty king who possessed incredible wisdom and power. Bilkis was intrigued and decided to send a delegation to Jerusalem to learn more about this remarkable leader. When the delegation returned, they brought with them a letter from Hazrat Suleiman, inviting Bilkis to visit him in Jerusalem. Bilkis, curious and open-minded, accepted the invitation. She set out on the long journey accompanied by her advisors and guards. Upon arriving in Jerusalem, Bilkis was amazed by the grandeur and beauty of the city. Hazrat Suleiman welcomed her warmly and invited her to his court. As they conversed, Bilkis was struck by Hazrat Suleiman's wisdom, kindness, and humility. She was impressed by his understanding of the natural world, his knowledge of the scriptures, and his ability to communicate with animals. Hazrat Suleiman too was impressed by Bilkis's intelligence, courage, and generosity. He saw in her a kindred spirit. He told to Queen, Your kingdom is mighty, but it is nothing compared to the power of Allah. Hazrat Suleiman was a wise and knowledgeable leader, seeking counsel from the wisest minds of his time. I have lived a long and blessed life, but I know that true wisdom comes from Allah alone. They spent more time together. Their mutual respect and admiration blossomed into a deep and lasting friendship. Over the next few weeks, Bilkis and Hazrat Suleiman engaged in lively discussions, exploring the mysteries of the universe, the nature of God, and the secrets of human hearts. They shared stories, laughed together, and learned from each other's experiences. Bilkis was amazed by Hazrat Suleiman's ability to understand the language of animals and his incredible wisdom, while Hazrat Suleiman was impressed by Bilkis's courage and her people's advanced knowledge of astronomy and mathematics. As the days passed, Bilkis realized that her friendship with Hazrat Suleiman was not only a personal blessing, but also a blessing for her people. She saw how his wisdom and guidance could benefit her kingdom and her people, and she asked him to share his knowledge with her advisors and scholars. Hazrat Suleiman agreed, and soon, a group of scholars from Sheba were studying under his guidance, learning about the scriptures, astronomy, and the natural world. Bilkis, too, continued to learn from Hazrat Suleiman, and their friendship deepened. Hazrat Suleiman's greatest challenge came when the Queen of Sheba, Bilkis, arrived in Jerusalem seeking to test his wisdom and power. She brought with her a retinue of advisors and guards and presented Hazrat Suleiman with a series of riddles and challenges. Hazrat Suleiman, with his incredible wisdom and knowledge, easily solved the riddles and overcome the challenges. Bilkis was impressed and humbled, recognizing the truth of his prophethood and the blessings of Allah. And so, Hazrat Suleiman continued to rule with wisdom and justice, 
using his gifts to benefit his people and all of creation, leaving behind a legacy of wisdom, compassion, and faith that would inspire generations to come. Eventually, it was time for Bilqis to return to Sheba. Hazrat Suleiman accompanied her to the borders of his kingdom, where they shared a heartfelt farewell. Bilqis returned to her kingdom, filled with a newfound sense of purpose and wisdom, thanks to her friendship with Hazrat Suleiman. From that day forward, the kingdoms of Sheba and Jerusalem enjoyed a special bond, with Bilqis and Hazrat Suleiman remaining close friends and confidants, working together to promote peace, justice, and wisdom in their lands. And so the story of Bilqis and Hazrat Suleiman serves as a reminder of the power of friendship, wisdom, and mutual respect, transcending borders and cultures, and inspiring generations to come. Hazrat Suleiman was a wise and just king, ruling over the kingdom of Jerusalem with kindness and compassion.